the Toy Reviewer! Hi, Brittany the Toy Reviewer here, and today we're going to be looking at the Project MC Squared Rock Sugar Jewelry. Now, with this set, we are going to be able to make our own rock sugar jewelry again and again. So, let's take a look at the back of the box. Alright, so here is the back of the box. So right here it says culinary chemist Adrian Adams has whipped up a sweet confection to turn into rock sugar jewelry. Follow the steps to make your own candy jewelry to wear. So right here it shows everything that's going to come in this kit. Right here it says the four steps that we're going to need to do to make our rock sugar jewelry. It says first step is to mix water, sugar, and food coloring. Second step is to bring it to boil. Third step is pour mixture into jar. And fourth step is to watch it grow again and again. So let's go ahead and open up our box. Alright, so what we get in the box first is a jar with a lid and of course on the front it says Project MC Squared on it. And here is the lid and it's just like a little purple lid that comes right off. It also has a hole in it and some little grooves right here on the side. Next we have the metallic cord, which you can see is kind of like a silver color and that is just like a little cord next we have the snap lock connectors just kind of look like this and then you can like pull them apart and put them back together let's see if i can pull them apart they're kind of stuck in there but you can pull them apart let's see let's see if i can get them apart for a second so you can see them okay so here's what they look like apart and then, of course, you can just snap them back together like that. Next, we have a rope string. So, as you can see, it's just kind of like a thick string. Then we have two different rings. We have this pink one here. And it kind of has, like, I don't know what you would call this. It kind of looks like a little atom or something. Um, it looks pretty cute. Here is one of them in green. And of course, it is adjustable, so it can fit anybody's finger, which is really nice. And they also have these little, like, dome pieces on them. Next, we have a bracelet, which has three areas for our rocks to sit. And that is also really cute. And then the last piece is this piece here, which I think goes to the necklace. So this is the necklace piece and that is everything that comes in the kit besides the instructions. Alright, so here are the instructions. Now there is a very large list of things that are not included that we are going to need. The first thing we're going to need is sugar, we're going to need some water, food coloring, a saucepan, scissors, a pencil, a spoon, and a measuring cup. So these are all pretty much the stuff that you have in your house. Okay, so here are the instructions that I'm going to need to do um, in my kitchen uh, to make the mixture. So what we're going to do is we are going to add one cup of water to a saucepan and bring it to a boil. Then we are going to slowly add three cups of sugar. Then we are going to take it off of the heat. We're going to add three drops of food coloring. And then we're going to stick it in the fridge for ten minutes. And once that's been refrigerated, I'm going to bring it down here and we are going to go ahead and go on to the rest of the steps but basically all I'm doing is heating up boiling water adding sugar adding food coloring and sticking it in the fridge okay so now that I have finished with my mixture what I'm going to need to do is to measure up my rope and we're gonna want it to hang about one inch from the bottom so here it is it's about one inch from the bottom right there so I'm going to take a pencil, now here's where I want it to hang, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it like that, Get like a little bit more, okay, tie it around my pencil a bunch. Alright, so it is just tied around my pencil. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this part of the string. Now they say to dip it in water, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to dip it into our mixture first. Okay, so again, the instructions do say to dip it in water, but I'm actually going to dip it into the mixture. I'm going to try and dip it in there. It's pretty thick, but I think I can get it inside that. Alright, so I just dipped my string in the mixture. Again, they do say to dip it into water. But I have made rock candy before, and I've always dipped it into the mixture. So let's go ahead and roll it around. Get it nice and covered in sugar. So I've got this little plate with sugar on it. And I'm just making sure that the whole string is patted down with a bunch of sugar. Alright, so now I'm going to take the lid off the top of my jar. Now there are some markings right here on the side of the jar. We're going to want to fill it up all the way to the top with our mixture. Okay, now we're going to place back on the top. Okay, so here is my pencil with the string coated in sugar. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it through this hole on the top. Very gently into the mixture. Okay, so what we are going to do, you can kind of see the string inside of there. Um, it's just kind of floating around. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it aside and in a few days, we are going to take a look at it. Now, we are going to keep checking on it until it grows to the size that we like. So, for now, we are going to set it aside and I will be back in a few days. Okay, so it's been about four or five days and you can see our string a little bit in there, not very well. So, what we've got to do now is get some paper towels. And then what we're going to do is we are going to cut the string. Alright, so I've got my paper towel here, and I'm going to open up the top, like that, and then we are going to pull up the string. Now, it feels like it's kind of stuck in there a little bit. I'll try and pull it out. Um, it definitely feels like it's stuck. I may have to pull a little bit harder. Oh my goodness, it's really stuck in there. There we go. So here is our string and our rock candy and we're going to just lay it down. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of patting it down just a little bit. Kind of get it to dry off a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off some pieces. So I'm going to cut it right here. See if I can cut this piece. Just kind of cutting the string. Okay, so here is one piece of rock candy. And then I'm going to cut the string here. And I'll cut it right here. I may use this piece, I might not, I'm not sure. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to get six crystals out of my jar. Two of them I was able to kind of just um, pick out of the bottom. So we have six here for all six spots that we need to fill. So let's start with our bracelet. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove this little dome. And you just unscrew it. And then I'm going to place one of my pieces of rock candy right here. And screw on the top. And then unscrew this one. Place in another piece. And 
Now this one and this piece. Well, this piece might be a little too big, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nibble a little bit off the sides. Okay, and now I'm just going to set it right there. And let's see if it fits now. Alright, so all of our rock pieces are now inside of the bracelet. Next we have our green ring, so let's go ahead and take this piece off. And my rocks are kind of big, let's see if it can fit. Okay, I might have to eat a little bit of this one. Right, let's see if it fits now, no? eat a little bit more now if you didn't have enough rocks you could probably just cut it in half and use this little bit bigger piece as two pieces let me bite a little bit more off okay like that I think okay, I think I was able to get it in there let's see if I can screw it on okay this piece on and here is another piece I'm actually gonna break part of that off so I know it's not gonna fit in there like that so let's get our other ring and then I'll put a piece in here like that and then I'm gonna put another little piece like that and then put them together The last piece is the piece to our necklace, so let's go ahead and take off the dome. And I'm going to fill it with some pieces. I have a long piece here. Got some of the pieces I broke off of the other one. I'm just going to put them in there. And fill it up, because this dome is pretty big, so we can fit a bunch of these little pieces. And then I'm just going to take the top and screw it on. And then we're going to take our string and put it around the necklace and tie it at the end. Okay. Alright, so I know I won't be able to fit into this bracelet because it's for a child. So I can't put it on, but you can see how nice it looks. And here we have a ring. And here is our other ring. Or we could put both on. And then right here we have my favorite piece, which is the necklace. Alright, so this set was really, really cool. We got to make a lot of jewelry. I was kind of worried that my rock candy was too small. Um, especially with these pieces, they were seemed really, really small until I put them inside of the little domes here. Um, so as you can see, the pieces that I thought were going to be the right size ended up being way too big. But it's okay if they're too big because you can just eat them and make them smaller. So, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Project MC Square videos. Alright you guys, so I totally forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot that this piece is actually supposed to go into this little gray piece. Um, so we're supposed to put it through the hole, so let's get it in there. So, once you pull it through the side, you can tie a knot in it. Like that and now the string can't come out so I'm gonna do the same thing for this side all right so I have just finished tying them and I cut off the excess bit of string and then what we have to do is just to put these two pieces together like that and here is our necklace
come back tomorrow for a new video and if you like the video you just saw don't forget to check out our other videos find us on facebook and other social media and as always thanks for watching